<laughs> okay, so Caroline, you're <laughs> standing in Islington. I am. Well, okay, I'm actually so standing outside the Houses of Parliament yeah, okay, right now, but I'm yeah. standing for election in Islington. In Islington, uh, that's watching the, the, the local council. To the local council, Okay, yes. so what's happening over there? How's the, uh, how's the take-up? It's very positive. The Green Party's been working hard in Islington um, since the last elections in 2010. Um, last time Islington went to the polls, the Greens beat the Lib Dems in every ward in Islington North, coming second to Labour. That was in the 2012 mayoral election. Um, and we are very um, positive about the way that our messages are being received. Okay, great. I mean, hopefully we should get you. I'm sorry, your name again is? There's Mark. I'm Mark? standing in Hyde Park. In Hyde Park. Okay, yeah. and that was just saying that actually a lot of uh, houses are empty in that area. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's often the way, I mean, especially a lot of the big mansion blocks are kind of, you know, just boxed and just set empty. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's some real, real issues that you have real in the, um, the kind of disparities in the quality and so on, and that type of area is really marked, I think. You've got okay. the kind of big empty rich houses and the kind of tower blocks full of so uh, people on lower incomes. It's more, mostly yet yeah, Tory voters than actually who can... Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably the safest Tory ward in the whole of Westminster, I think. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, some, not up for a challenge, I guess, in that. It's interesting, though, because Tory voters, <laughs> like a lot of green policies, things like the living wage really resonate for Tories because they want people to be um, able to have a job where they earn enough where they can build a life on, that they can actually feed themselves, clothe themselves, heat their home and eat um, without being dependent on benefits. And so something like paying the living wage um, is something that does resonate with Tory voters. So it's, uh, you know, you can't make assumptions about how Tories vote. Yeah, I mean, well, I, in my experience, actually, like Bolton, which is a very safe Tory seat, I think it's been a Tory since, what, 1983 and Probably, yeah. or something. And, uh, but now they actually, they have, um, they're trying to actually become energy independent by having yeah. solar panels in the whole village. Yeah. Yeah, which is, I mean, well, impressive. <laughs> but, 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 I mean, that's that sort of pragmatic stuff about, you know, if you have well-insulated homes, you need to spend less money heating them. It's, you know, there are, there are sensible things about, pra and pragmatic, practical things about oh, green policy, which actually um, help people save money, and that also appeals to Tories. Exactly. Thank you so much. Okay. Sure. Thank you.